something I can name myself. Yeah. He's a bigger one. That one. I got a bastard. I mean a bass. Oh, 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 oh. He's really big. He's a nice fighter. <laughs> He's a nice bass, but... Oh, yeah. Yeah, see? Nice one. nice one. I gotta take a picture so I put it on my Donnie, Donnie over at Tackle Shack will look at it and say, cool. I don't know if I can if I can get it or not. Yeah. My boat's going in circles. Got it? Yep, you got it. That's a nice one. Trying to Where's my boat going? I have a scale. I have a scale, but I don't know what I did with it. Where's my scale? Hmm? Dip you in the water again. Oh, there it is. Let me see, zero. Isn't it on? Oh, there it is. Three pounds, four ounces. Hmm. Isn't he beautiful? Yeah, that's a nice Let's go, Mama. <laughs> That was a nice fish. Wacky rig. Uh, right back over in them sticks, Ray. Got me all twisted up here, but I guess it's worth it. Did you get one? There we go. Yeah, there we go. Nice little one, huh? I love the look of the water. I do too. Nothing nicer than a nice little bass. Get one. Okay, man. Okay, I'll go do you this way then. I'm not picky. Nice. He's just a little. What, 12, 13 inch? Goodbye, honey. Uh, I always talk to the fish. They're my buddies. <laughs> then why are you catching me? Right. <laughs> That's what they're saying. I'm your buddy, why are you catching me? That was awesome, that was off. That was just out about maybe 20 feet from the edge. Boy, he took it too. He was like, you got one? I think down in this, there we go, another one. Another one. Another hit, there we go. Nope, I felt it tap. I was looking at the motor. You got one? I wish you'd get one. <laughs> yeah. We get a couple of hits there. I'm gonna come down. We'll put the anchor down out down here. Play with them a while, huh? Yeah, this is where I was catching on that hula pop right out here. Were you? Yeah, because I, I got these muck boots on, so I walk right down in there. Oh, man, Just Ooh. missed one. Get back up here. I'll put the anchor down a little bit and we'll fish this for a while. Is there?
sometimes in this soft bottom, my uh, boat should swing around. I'm not sure if it will or not. Get us out further on. Trying to figure out which way the boat wants to go. Oh, yeah. The anchor let us move over here 10 feet. This soft mud bottom, that's that anchor is not good for it. It, it don't grab. It slides. It's like a mushroom. I'll get us out a little so we can have room to cast anyway. There. See what it does now. Maybe I got a weed. Got the whole weed. Yeah, you did. Oh, did you? As you pulled in, I was catching There we go. Oh, he just got off. He got off while he was fighting. Uh, oh, is he fighting? You'll find out when I when I get a bite, I cross their eyes. <laughs> probably why they don't bite again after a while when I throw them back in. They're probably cross-eyed, googly-eyed. What the hell just happened? Yeah, you should just cut it off. You're not going to lose that much line, are you? There we go. There we go. He's taking the whole boat around. There we go. Oh, surfing. Boy, did he take it. He took it the whole little thing. He was hungry bugger. Keepers, I got him. I'm sorry. Go on. Nice one, same size as the other one, huh? Yeah. 
I'd like to catch one right under your popper. Huh? Wouldn't that make you mad? <laughs> I didn't want to cast there, but the wind took it. No. Yeah, like Those usually work good in the morning though, for me. What's that, blues? Yeah. The hoodle poppers. That's right. Missed him. Feels like he took my worm. Oh, he broke me right off. There, didn't hook hard. I had him on there. Try again. Got him that time. Get a nice one? Yeah, there you go. Yep. Don't beat that three pounder, but it's a nice one. Yeah. Well this is where I catch the big ones. This is the area that I caught the biggest ones. Yeah. One. No, I'm trying to get my motor spun around. He's a nice one. Yeah, he's a nice one, isn't he? Wonder how much he weighs. <laughs> Not gonna weigh him. Gotta be good. Caught him shallow. I caught him shallow in there. Yeah, right in there. That's where I cast, like in that towards his weeds. Whoops! Uh, the boat's swinging around. I. Th I wanted to come up above around the edge of that box. 
Oh, he hit it. <laughs> he hit it right over there on the edge of that box. The trap. I don't know what those papers say on them. There's one right in there in that. Right in there beside that. Turtles? Yeah. Okay. really taking us now. Get him? You see those? There we go, a big one. It's oh, yeah. a big one. Oh no, it's not as big as I thought. Oh, that's so caught up in the weeds. <laughs> he really felt like a monster. <laughs> he really felt like a monster. Caught up in the weeds. I'm not taking any pictures with my camera because I would send them to a... my buddies. Have yep, yep. Well, he's swimming for all he's worth. Swimming for all he's worth. Ooh. Boy, I really hooked him. I don't know. He has to come to us, I think. Unless he gets mad enough to wait. Okay. Yeah. Nice one. Bye-bye, baby. He's looking at us. I better get my license. 
Good. 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 Yeah. yeah. What, he wants us to come in? Yeah. Okay. He said I need to do it to you. I have my license somewhere here. Yeah, they're right there. <laughs> they're jumping. There was one right at the end right there jumping. See how those pylons are right? See right here? See right here? Got the biggest bass. Right off that pylon right there. It's real shallow, but that was, that's when... A frog would work good in there. That's when I found the frog too. I, I lost a lure on my fish last year. It broke me off. Ten minutes later, I caught the fish with my lure. I got it back. That's rare. That's rare that happens. Yeah, it is. I've never, never done it in my life. What's that? Did we just start? Uh, no, around noon. Been out a couple hours. We started over there at that end and nothing and I caught a three pound four ounce one right off the bat. I thought, boy, we're going to have good. And then we didn't catch anything for two hours. <laughs> I'm telling you what, mister, I fished this all last year when it got full and I absolutely love this lake. Last year I was here three, four times a week. I never once, all season, right up till fall, had another boat in here. Me, by myself. One time a lady with a kayak was here. Okay. And I, uh, I caught 25 bass in less than half an hour and I was taking pictures of them, sending them to my buddy. And he says, where are you at? I said, Ness McLake. And I said, I'm going to go home in an hour because I'm so tired of catching them. I said, as soon as it hits the water. Sure. And it was all down that bank there. You know, it's usually the, the, the thing you see Whenever you, the lake's getting re, watch the rod. Yep, watch your rod. I, I always put uh, it on that side. When you re, refill up a lake like that, you know, it can be one of those things where it's really productive. It's kind of like the big lakes up north, like Kalineski and all that. Oh, yeah, yeah. I fished the entire in Kalineski. kind of have lost some productivity over time. Yeah, yeah, yep, but I know. The, you know, there's still some the panfish in Tioga Lake. Unbelievable. Yeah. yeah, I was at Tioga Lake. Um, what day was it last week? Well, they opened the gate. I went down. I thought, oh, yeah, great. Because I, I have a bigger bass boat. Yeah. And I winterized it. And I wanted to get it out and run it. So we got that rain. That was on a Thursday. They opened the gate. Friday, we got rain. I went down there Saturday, just drove down without the boat. The gate's locked again. I go, ah, oh, because no that flood's so bad down there. You were on... Uh Lambs Creek. Yeah. Yeah. They, that, I mean, that, See, I live in Lambs Creek. The so. darn thing, it floods whenever, I mean, it's like a little speck of rain. I there. was telling somebody the other day, I said, you know, the Army Corps, I said, they put that yeah, boat launch in the worst stuff. possible. See, I, I grew up, we had to move because of the highway. They took our house, the government back in 1973, 74. And we lived right where the four lane goes there. We were on one side of Route 15, uh -huh. and my aunt and uncle were on the other side. And I said, that field always floods, that flat field always floods. We could stand up in our dining room window and watch it when it rained, it would flood. Well, that's where they put the boat ramp <laughs> and the launch. You know, so they got to go down there with payloaders. Yeah, well, the old road there, you can see up by the bridge, it, it kind of cuts. I mean, that's sure. got to be a great spot. Oh, it is. It is, to, yeah. You know, if you small just, mouth. Oh, we were catching just, small mouth. Right there where you're coming down Lambs Creek and that road cuts up there, if yep. you could somehow connect that. But that's a pretty long ways to yeah. get down. And how do you deal with the parking of both Oh, I know. Yep, I know. 
but that I think they still should have put the boat launch where the overlook where the picnic area is. Mm -hmm. I think they should have went on the other side of that and put a boat launch there, halfway down that no wake zone, yeah. instead of where they did. Because they got to go down there. every time it floods. They have to go down there, uh, back those payloaders. They actually have to scrape the road, the mud, okay. and clean it because it's this deep. Yeah. So it takes them a week or two to do it every time it rains. It's, I, I was going to go down there this morning and I saw well, all that rain over the weekend. I don't know if we could to be open. I hate to pull the boat down there and find out the gate's okay. locked. Yeah, that's thing. Yeah. <laughs> so I've been going to Kowneski a little bit. I don't have a lot of luck there. in Kowneski, though. The bass though. fishing's better on Kowneski yeah. Lake yep. than any other lake, I think. Yeah. Of the big ones, but the panfish, you can't beat tight. Yeah. A lot, of, a, lot of, a lot of folks don't do it. Yeah. No. Up at Pisgah. Pisgah's got the pan lake, the panfish over there are huge. Yeah. Yep. You don't have a pan Hills now, Creek's been enough. fishing well. Oh, yeah, Hills Creek. Um, I go there. I live three miles from, I live in Lambs Creek, so I'm three miles little, from the lake. I'm not sure we'll reevaluate the popu fish populations here in the fall, but. I hope you keep it catching, at least for my life. <laughs> Because nobody that's fishes not, it. That's not healthy. Well, it's not them. healthy for the lake. For <laughs> no the fishery. Lake. The for fishery. What we're here. trying to object. Right. Our objective there. Right. You know, you need to harvest some bass. You know, you know I was bluegills. You yeah. know, my, or I, you get, you know, your proportional stock densities are a little, uh, a little out of whack. And right. You might get bluegill crowd. I was surprised at this because I've never fished this lake. I grew up here, but I never fished Nesbitt, Hamilton, Hills Creek, Beach Creek, and or Beachwood, and. This Never fished this, and then when they drained it and were doing all the work, I was surprised when they started filling it up. And when I came out here and I was going through the middle, you know, when I was on the road and looking at it, I was thinking it was 12 foot deep, 18 feet at the most, maybe 12 foot is what I'm thinking. I said, boy, that's a shallow little lake. Man, there's 23, 27 foot out here. Yeah, Beachwood Lake's got 60 something feet. I, yeah, yeah, I go there, I, I ice 60, fish that. 60, 62 feet yeah. up, right out from the spillway. Yeah, I, I ice fish that. Yep. Man, if you could just get on them walleyes, figure them out. Uh, there was a guy out there. I couldn't get him on ice fishing. Right here, if you'd get, take this little boat up there, troll form with a worm harness. Yeah. Right off where it goes from like where the mooring area and it got that mm -hmm. that to the right. that kind of goes down yep. to like 22 feet. Yep. That's, That's where they're hanging there? Them, oh, them. inside he information, see? Yeah. <laughs> he wrecks with worm yeah. Okay. Anyways, the reason I'm calling you over... Uh, I didn't have my any, license on. Any fishing yeah. licenses this <laughs> I, and, uh, Your numbers on your boat weren't contrasting, so... I didn't well, yeah, that's so old. Boat, it's a 1989 or? boat. Yeah. No, it's, I've had it since Did 1989. you have the registration for the boat with you, sir? Uh, I don't know if it's in here or in my truck. I normally have it with me. But I don't know. I have my. I'm not sure if I. He was here fishing. Yeah, I, 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 I yeah, here it is. Know him. <laughs> he was here fishing when I got here, and I says, I said, you know, I have another license if you'd wanna, or another life another preserver if you yeah. wanna go out. So I. I just, oh, uh, this might be, I hope it's the new one, March 21st, 1958. And this is the plate, registration I had a bo uh, board on here and it rotted, so that's, that's my plate. What's the, looking for your boat register, that's for your trailer, it was the red one. Wait, that was. I just saw it there a second ago, I believe. Well, I have two boats, I have a bass boat too, let me see. Let me see. Where did we see it? It might be in the glove compartment of my truck. Well, the registration is valid on the front of the. Oh, truck. here this is, but this might be for. Yeah, this is for my sea nymph. That's for my bass oh, boat. Let me, maybe there's something in there. Let me look. I'll take a look. No... It might be in my glove compartment of my truck. But I know I put this plate in here because it, it was yeah, on that board, it rotted. Yep, you, you are required to have that, so that's good that you hang on to that. How do you like that Berkeley Vanish? It's okay, it's... When I, when I fish, did a lot more... I'd rather when use P-Line. When I fish spin casting equipment and your typical type of... Uh, your typical kind of just fish, you know, rod and reel. Right. I fished a lot of 
the uh, that's just, you know, there. I fished a lot of the Berkeley Vanish, but now I mean that was heck. The Berkeley Vanish used to be the cat meow. Yes, now, it is. It, now now it isn't. Now you're getting stuff. I mean, it just yeah. Yeah, if you. It's definitely registered. Oh, I deal with my line. See that. I just. Uh, and I was wondering about the letters because, yeah, they're really getting faded. Yeah, That's it. I would, you know, they're fact not is, right, the first I, I year, really okay, because the first year I had those letters on there, like the next year, two of them, it, they had just faded out to hardly nothing. Well, so you know, I replaced them once. What I'd recommend, I'd go away from the stickers maybe. Uh, what paint? I've seen a lot, a lot oh. more folks do paint, exactly. Paint I like could do what, that. What would pop really well orange. with your like a red, like a oh, deep red. red, like a blood red would look like that sticker there. That looks. I mean, I could see. Oh that. yeah. I could see it was a twenty. Yeah, if you look I at that sticker, see you'll see there like there's twenty of them underneath it. Yeah. <laughs> I bought it like, new in '89. <laughs> yeah. Was, I get it. <laughs> Every year I stick them on there. <laughs> but uh, uh. that uh, that registration, that is something I do need to see before I before I go. If you want to take a okay, let's go over to the take a trip up to the I can, or I can. Or, I'll just let's go over there. Wait, we can anchor it or tie it in. And if there was, if, if I could just get on a computer and look, man, I would, but I, I don't have anything. Like you that. don't have that? No, I don't. Far side there. We'll have to go try to go to the, oh, to the cleats over there. Oh, you were holding the boat. I was yeah. cranking her up and you were just <laughs> hanging right on. Hanging on for dear life. To it. Got those Arnold arms. He does, don't he? We're getting a little sunburn. A little bit. Oh, you pushed it too far away. If you got a or a paddle. Yeah. Oh, I have a tie up there you can tie and then I do this down here. I do this here. Oh. Wacky rig, like a wacky worm. It's okay. in here I don't ha oh, what's this what's your old smoker one? craft oh that's the old one <laughs> smoker craft Yep, validated 2018. That's the only other one in there. Okay, perfect. Yeah, so okay. uh, just make oh, sure. Oh, I'll that put that's, that back in there. Make sure that's on the boat. You're okay. under 16 feet, so. Yeah, my other one's a 16 footer. This is a 14. Yeah. Awesome. Yep. Yeah, I'll put that back in my tackle box. Yeah, no harm, no foul. You know, like I said, I. Well, I take I, my I bass boat up to the Mocha Lake. Over. It looked like you guys were having a pretty good time, there, <laughs> you know, but... Yeah, I don't I, know how long it's on. That registration, it, and those numbers certainly aren't... Yeah. You know, they're well, I take, faded. I'd, I'd, you know... Yeah, I take that down to uh, Rose Valley a lot. I fish oh, that a lot. Hey, how's that been fishing? I've been down there. Yeah, I was I've down there. really good things about the perch. Yep. Oh. The perch fishing has been awesome. If I, I got to go get my phone, I'll show you some perch. Yeah, I'll be right here. All right. Hi. We're all good. I just gotta get my phone. He wants to see some perch pictures. Yeah, you want to see some perch? Oh yeah. 
biggest perch. Ice fishing. The biggest perch I've ever caught in my life. Let me see. That looked like a perch, Eric. Look at the size of that. Look at my hand. Oh my gosh. One pound, eight ounces. I've been, we, we electro fished it and, and, or surveyed it there a couple years ago and the walleye have been immaculate. The perch have been, oh my gosh. Look I have never, I have never caught fish perch that big in my life till through the ice you last year. You believe the guys that say, oh, there isn't any perch Look at that catch. There. I get it. There's no. And we eat those. That's people, the only fish say, I catch. oh, there's no fish in them. There's oh. my card if you ever okay. have any questions. Okay. Oh, thank you. So, so I cover all the Tioga County. So. Yeah, that's my, I fish, I only keep fish in the wintertime, perch and crappie. Okay. Through the ice. They're so firm and so fresh. You throw them on the ice, they're froze, yeah. and I love them. In summertime, I don't keep any fish at all. Mm -hmm. Bass, I always catch and release. But I, I just you, love I, I, this. I recently got into ice fishing myself. I tell you what, man. I've been doing it for since 81. Wow. I love it. I have two shanties, now, two man and like one I, man. You know, I just never had no anybody teach me. Yeah. You know, I had an old guy I mean, taught me in 1981. He was at work, and he says to me, I was a supervisor, and he says, yeah, he's going ice fishing. I said... I said, man, that's something I wanted to do, but I, I don't know what gear I need. Watch he goes, there. I don't know. he says, meet me at my cabin. He has a cabin up in Barber's. Hello there. Oh, it gets stocked all yeah. the time. It's yeah. it's in the restocking. A lot process. of fish. You let to stop, right? Yep. You yeah. Got the fish. It's uh, you just got to yield the boats. If, oh, yeah. if a boat, you got to yield to the boats and everything. And uh, it is catching. It's managed under a catch and release regulation right now. Okay. So. Okay. Good luck yeah. to you. <laughs> but uh, down in Rose Valley, that's my ice fishing lake to go to for the most part. You got a chance Beachwood. to fish Hills Creek? Yep. Hills Creek, I do a lot. That's only three miles from my house, so I'll run up there after work and stuff. Well, and, hey, uh, I don't mean to cut you off, but I got to get going. My okay. shift ends here. No problem. Bit, so. hey, what was your name? Kevin Hall. Kevin Chadlauer. Good yep. to meet you, sir. Good to meet you. Yep. Yeah, well, thank you. Like I said, <laughs> Sorry, I know. I well, I, I, I thought you guys were gonna be all fired up. No, you know, it's I not. Wanna, no, we were hammering them here, and we were just heading over that. See if we can drift that down a little bit, because I'm sure. not fishing too much longer. Sure. I don't know what. How I don't even know who he is. I didn't even know hey, where well, he was. Nice he was fishing here, and he says, "Do you ever take anybody in the boat?" I said, "Normally, I wouldn't have my other life vest, but I reached in my bass boat and I grabbed both of them out." I said, "I have one." Nor, you so, know, that's a nice thing you did there. It's well, nice to see that kind of stuff. You there know. was a little kid down at Walmart one day, and he was looking at ice fishing stuff, and he said, do you know anything about ice fishing? So we're talking, and I said, well, I'll tell you what. I'm going to be at Hills Creek Lake tomorrow. And he says, well, my mom's going to drop me off. I said, well, I'm in a red shanty. Eskimo, just There's look for me. There's a lot of them out there, though. Yeah, I said, but just look for a red shanty and come out, and if you see me, you're welcome to fish. And I took him out and showed him the ropes. It was cool. great. Thanks, Kevin. See you later. Yep. We didn't get rowed up yet. Yeah. Ah. Well, well, we'll try to get back over there again a little bit. I don't know how long I can fish yet. Oh, we won't go very far. Oh. It's funny because I had all my registration from my big boat because I take that to New York State and you don't want to get caught up there without it. Mm.